All right, now a little context on this bike and then we'll slap her back together. Uh, I was going for something a little bit different in the beginning of this video. I wasn't going to talk at all, but let me know in the comments if that's something you'd watch or not or if you think I should add some music. Uh, but anyway, this is a 98 Suzuki RMX 250, friend of mine's bike, and they just beat the balls off it and overheated it till it smoked and kept going. And as you saw, the clutch cable was actually melted to the cylinder head. But this is a, a liquid-cooled engine, and that's horrible. That means this thing got really, really hot. I mean, smoked, you know and you saw it had no compression and so that's that's why the the piston got so hot that it melted the aluminum and just pushed past now normally when i would see this i would think there was a lean condition like uh a crank seal leaking allowing unmetered air to suck in you know that's not making its way through the carburetor causing it to run lean and wipe out the piston like that and that could be the case so uh i'm going to talk a little bit here and then and then we'll we'll go back to to putting this together so if you, if you don't care you know i'll put time stamps down below but uh, normally when you see something like this you'd want to pull the whole engine out because there is metal debris that gets down underneath into the bearings and such and and that's just really the way to go but he said put this thing back together as cheap as you can do it just just get it running right so anyway that's where we're at and i got a waseco piston kit this is made in usa by the way so it comes with rings which actually are made in japan can't can't argue with that though and check this out the piston comes in a little like velvet bag oh yeah look at this thing Woo, that is sexy this is a standard bore piston uh, also got the waseco gasket kit which is also made in usa so that's pretty awesome and as you also saw the cylinder has that aluminum wiped into it right so i'm actually i started scraping that a little bit you can scrape that right off it's not like welded to it uh, no real super deep scratches in here it's all kind of superficial so i think we'll be okay uh, the the piston rings didn't hang up on the ports or anything a lot of time if it kept running um, a piston ring will grab a port and and destroy it uh got a new clutch cable since that was melted you guys should probably cuss at me when i when i cut it and then also made in japan uh you saw for the exhaust valve linkage the other one just melted away completely so i got a new one of these if you're ever doing a rebuild like this and you have a two-stroke that blew up, you should really pressure test the crankcase prior uh, to taking it apart, which you got to plug the exhaust and then you can put uh, vacuum or pressure into the intake and check those crank seals and all the seals before you take it apart, checking for an intake leak. I didn't do that. However, you did see I pressurized the radiator and I was mainly checking to see if this crushed in radiator was leaking or not. Uh, as you saw, the head gasket was leaking pretty bad. But yeah, didn't see any other leaks. The system did hold pressure. All right, let's get her back together. After working away the rest of the melted aluminum in the cylinder jug, it turns out there actually is a little pitting and damage. So really this should be bored out and relined. 
Uh, but we're not going to do that. Doesn't sound like any vacuum leaks. Nice and responsive 